Alright, so here we go. Here's some data I collected by asking teachers what their favorite you morning really beverage is. Okay. No, I didn't really do it. That is completely made up. Okay. I didn't actually ask them what their favorite morning beverage was. Well, you okay. just said it was 30 of them, so. I know. Because I like counted when I was making it. How many teachers do we have? So I could play it off as if I'd actually done it. Lies. All right. Yeah. So. I don't lie. It's different. It drinks soda in the morning. Me? I do. I do. I'm not a coffee drinker. So you drink coffee? I drink coffee. What about no. juice? No. Diet Mountain Dew. Well, juice and milk do not have caffeine I drink in drink coffee. So I wake up. I, I wake up. I got a headache because I, because I didn't get enough sleep. Need some caffeine. Get me going. So there we go. So we eat, drink pop. Mm -hmm. I drink that. That's no. That's worse. It's All right. Worse than, like, the other no, no to turn uh, laboratory rats into mutants. Awesome. Ready? Yeah. So? All right. Ready? <laughs> so here's the data I collected. It says coffee, juice, water, pop, and then the total. Okay. And then there's male, female, and total. Okay. Total is not, we're not blending the cereal and drinking it. Okay, total means it's everybody. So we add up all the males, how many do you have? 18. 18. You add up all the females, how many do you have? 12. Total means all the coffee drinkers, all the juice drinkers, all the water drinkers, all the pop drinkers. When the totals overlap, what do we get? 30. 30. So how many people were surveyed? 30. 30. Is any, any questions about that? No. Okay. Now, Probability with data tables is just like probability with drawing, with drawing cards or rolling dice, okay? Or putting your phone away. It's the same thing, Maddie. All right? So the probability of events, the probability of events, you take the total number of positive outcomes or the event total, and you divide by the total data, okay? So like when we were rolling a dice, we took how many, how many outcomes were a five? And we divided by the total. So five out of six. Or sorry, one out of six. All right? So here... The event total means, if I want to know how many males there are, 18 is my total males, right? Yeah. Probability of, of picking a male at random out of people I, sit, I surveyed would be 18 out of 30. Does that make sense? So the probability would be 18 divided by 30. Any questions about that? Okay. Probability of a female. How many females are there? 12. 12. Out of? 30. Okay, now this was self-reported male or female, so we're not going to argue over, you know, it could be both. Okay, it's just male or female, they had to pick one. Okay, so 12 out of 30, does that reduce to what? Take a six out of everything, right? Yes. <laughs> Two fifths. Any questions? No questions? Make sense? Is 18 males in this room? Yep. All right, I told you I made it up. Okay. Female and juice. Now, and is the overlap, right? Yes. So where do females and juice overlap? Mm -hmm. What number is it? Five. Five, right here. Female column, juice row, they overlap right there. So is it five out of eight, five out of 12, or five out of 30? Five out of 30. So five out of 30, what does that reduce to? One. Any questions? No? Okay. Mail or water? What's the problem with mail or water? Okay. Four out of 30 would be and, right? This is males and water. Male or water means it could be male, right? Or they could have chose water as their favorite in the morning. Right? So... This is an addition problem, isn't it? We've got to make sure we don't double count. So how many males are there? 18 out of 30. How many waters are there? 6 out of 30, right? 6 out of 30, right? How many of them are males? How many of the water drinkers are males, so they already are counting the male number? 4. 4 out of 30. So you need to subtract 4 out of 30. So that way we don't count that 4 twice, right? Because I counted this 4 in the 18, I don't want to count it again when I count the 6. Does that make sense? Okay, does that make sense? Okay. So 18 out of 30 plus, plus 6 out of 30 minus 4 out of 30 ends up being 20 out of 30. What does that reduce to? 2 thirds. Two -thirds. Okay. 
Does that make sense? Any questions? No questions? Okay. I'd like you to try the rest of these. Okay. Try the rest of them on your own, please. Sure that you don't say anything incriminating or address the So you add those together, right? And then subtract the and. Is there any and between pop and juice? No. Oh, yeah. Do you Sometimes I'll show my dad, like, it'd be fun with everybody else. Like, everybody would be good. You guys subtract the overlap. Tell me if you want to play card. Oh, I was in the studio. Um, I was filming. I was filming. Mm-hmm. Still filming, Andrea. Yeah. They can be done in the church in the studio. Okay. We went to Michigan Adventure too. Nice. Fun? Yeah. Yeah.
Subtract the overlap, or we subtract the and, right? Did pop and juice overlap at all? No. No, so there's no and here. They're mutually exclusive. You can't have them both, can you? Right? So you subtract zero. Okay? So 8 plus 4 is 12. So you got 12 out of 30 again, which is? 4 out of 10. 2 fifths. 4 out of 10, 2 fifths. Okay. Juice and pop. How many juice and pops are there? Trying to set you up. Hoping you multiply 8, 8 over 30, and 4 over 30, right? Did anybody multiply 8 over 30 and 4 over 30? No? Good. Because juice and pop are mutually exclusive, so can you have them both? No. No, you can only have one favorite. You can't have two favorites. You can't say my favorite restaurant, my favorite restaurant is Taco Bell and Subway. Doesn't work. No, it doesn't work that way. You have no favorite then. You don't work that way. <laughs> what if what if a parent said you can go to Taco Bell or Subway? Which one's your favorite? Neither. Where are you going? Not McDonald's. Beat up. Okay, that's not your favorite then. See, I like the dolphins and I like the lions, right? But when they when they play each other, I cheer for the dolphins because they're my favorites. Alright, does that make sense? I don't like Michigan State and I don't like Ohio State, but when they play with each other, I hope they both lose. How? How? I don't know. Don't okay. <laughs> All right. So back to this. Female or coffee, right? How many females are there? Twelve. So this is twelve out of thirty. How many people like coffee? Twelve, right? Twelve out of thirty. So that's the females plus the coffee, right? Which one way? Females plus coffee, right? Right? So are we good now? Just add? No, because I'm double counting this three. That three is in both females and coffee, right? So you need to subtract three out of 30. So 12 out of 30 plus three out of 30 minus, or 12 out of 30 plus 12 out of 30 minus three out of 30. You end up with 24 out of 30 minus 3 out of 30, which is 21 out of 30, which is what, Naya? Uh, 7 out of 10. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. That's the reduce to 7 out of 10. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. Mail and coffee. Where's mail and coffee? Is this adding or overlap? And means where they overlap, right? So where do male and coffee overlap? Nine. nine. So it's nine out of thirty. What is nine out of thirty reduced to? Take a three out of early, right? Three out of ten. Water or female? How many water drinkers are there? Six. Six. How many females? Twelve. Twelve. Right? So 6 over 30 plus 12 over 30. Minus what, Naya? Good. Subtract 2 over 30 because there's 2 that's in both. Right? 
Or you could shortcut it and say 12 minus 2 plus 6, or 12 plus 6 minus 2. You can do that in your head, that's fine. 12 plus 6, 18 minus 2 is 16. 16 out of 30 reduces to 8 over 15. Any questions? Okay. Now, probably a male and female. Now, we, we, this is self-assigned by the person taking the survey. So, we're not worried about that both situation, okay? So, male and female. Zero. Right? They had to claim one. They had to claim one of them. So, since they had to claim either male or female, then the probability of being both male and female is zero. Okay. Any questions? Any questions? All right. Kind of a little recap. If we have mutually exclusive events, what is and always going to be? Nope. If I have mutually exclusive events, what is and? Zero. It's always zero, right? The other type of events we know of are independent events, right? We can use the multiplication rule to figure out if events are independent or not. Okay. Two events are independent, David. Okay. If when you look in the table, the and where the, where the columns overlap equals the multiplication of their totals. Okay. So for example, we had a table that looked like this. Right. Bunch of stuff, bunch of different options, right? I'll call this as total. One more. This is total, right? If I have event X and event Y, oh, that was silly. Event X and event Y, right? Right? This is the total Y, this is the total X, right? Right? That's right here, probability of X and probability of Y. This right here is the probability of X. This right here is the probability of Y. This right here is x and y, right? Right? So what this is saying is if I multiply these two numbers together and get that number, then the events are independent. That means having one happen doesn't affect the other one. Okay? And if I am saying, aren't all events independent? Is every event independent? No. Okay? If we're talking about the weather outside in my choice of shoes, those are not independent, right? If it's snowing outside, I'm not going to randomly pick a pair of shoes out of my closet because I might get sandals. That's not going to be fun, sandals when it's snowing, although I have seen kids wear it. I don't get it, but I've seen people wear it. I think a big pair of socks will help. I think it makes it worse, okay? Does that make sense? Those events would not be independent, okay? No. I'm not going to wear sandals in the middle of wintertime. Or if it's raining. Because I'm not dumb. Okay. Although you might wear sandals when it's hot out, you might wear sandals without socks when it's raining. Because then your shoes don't get all wet. Right? You wear socks with your sandals? Oh, that's even more at you. Socks with sandals is more at you. Number one fashion. Then well, you have to wear You cannot wear socks with sandals. Not allowed. What? Oh, any other discussion with those boys then? All right, any questions? Any questions? All right, so here's, here's the situation. Is being female and liking juice independent? Well, typically, <clears throat> females are more health conscious than males, are, than males are when it comes to what they eat or drink. Okay? So a male might be more, more likely to drink pop in the morning than a female would just because of the whole health conscious idea. I drink pop every morning. I'm okay with it. Okay? Um, certain female teacher in the school asked me, how can you drink pop every morning? It's so bad for you. And then my question is, well, pop in the morning and pop later on the day, what's the difference? Right? A lot. How? Okay. Maybe opinion. opinion, right? The difference is opinion. Yeah. Okay? So maybe there's something going on, but I don't know. I can't imagine how pop is any worse for you than, than coffee. But we'll still, still drink that. All right. So, are being female and liking juice independent events? So the way we can figure this out is we need to look in our table 
And we need to figure out the probability of being female and the probability of liking Jews. So what's the probability of being female? How many are there? 12 out of 30. What's the probability of liking Jews? There's only two juice likers? Eight out of 30, right? So, from the table, what's the probability of being female and liking juice? How many females on the table like juice? Five out of 30, right? So now, the way we can figure out this is independent or not is the multiplication rule only works for independent events. So if two events are independent, the probability of x and y equals the probability of x times y. So what that means is if I take these two and multiply them together and get 5 over 30, then the events are independent. Does that make sense? No. No. Okay. We'll go through it one more time. The multiplication rule only works for independent events. So that means probability of x and y equals probability of x times probability of y. Do you remember using this? Do you remember using this? Okay. So if being female and liking juice are independent, that means when I multiply 12 over 30 times 8 over 30, we'll end up with 5 over 30. Okay? So every answer will be 5 over 30? No. Oh. Just these two will be 5 over 30. Okay? So on my table... Being female and liking juice, that's where that's where juice and female overlap. So juice and female is 5 over 30, right? Right? Mm -hmm. And then the 12 over 30 I got just from the females, and the 8 over 30 we got just from the juice total. Okay, does that make sense? Okay. So now I'm going to multiply it together. So 12 over 30 times 8 over 30. What's 12 over 30? What's, what's 12 times 8? My fault. 12 times 8. And 30 times 30 is 900. So 96 over 900. Do you think that reduces the 5 30ths? No. Okay. If you don't believe me, or if you don't, if you don't know how, do 96 divided by 900, and then hit math frac enter. Math frac enter. And you get 875. So they're not independent. That means being female has an effect on whether or not you chose juice as your morning beverage. Really? Remember, this is made of data. Okay? All right? Any questions about that? Now, you could say, well, Mr. Branch, fractions are kind of deceiving sometimes. Maybe we should look at decimals. All right? So let's do that. What's 8 divided 75? Point one zero six repeating, right? Yeah. What's five divided thirty? Okay. That's point one six six and point zero point one zero six repeating. Are those equal? Are they close enough? No. No. What if this was like point one seven and this was point one six repeating? Would those be close enough? Yeah, yeah those probably be close enough. I can say like if this one is 0.15 and this one is 0.16, that's close enough. I heard you have the death tax. I do not. Okay. Any questions? Are we done? Any questions? No, we're not done, Mom. Okay. Any questions? So does this does this process make sense? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. You have another example, another two examples. I'd like you to try them out. Oh, goodness, where am I going? <laughs>